Hi y'all, welcome to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you inside the Good and the Beautiful's new Language Arts Level 2. So stay tuned. Okay, well, welcome. If you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina, and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, eight and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith and in this amazing, even though it can get a little bit crazy after dinner time. You know? <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's still an amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click the little bell icon so you get notified whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on what goes on around here on a daily basis. All right, you guys, well, this is a much requested video. Um, I am excited to show you inside. We have started this already, and you will see once I kind of open the book, um, but we have started this already, and it has been so much fun. My second grader loves it so far, and he has loved like the new um, booster, booster books booster cards, <laughs> the new booster cards. And this has been so much fun. Also, you guys, this is like a shared reader with him and me. Part of it he reads, part of it I read. And it is just, it, it, it's, it's just wonderful. So including this video, I have a video for all of the new editions of the, of the Good and the Beautiful's Language Arts, including preschool, kindergarten prep, level K and level one. Um, level three has not quite come out yet. I believe it comes out in 2023. So I'm excited for that one and I will definitely be showing you guys that one once it comes out. So without any further ado, I am going to flip the camera around. We're gonna open this bad boy up and I am going to show you inside. All right guys, here are the different components for level two. Um, from the good and the beautiful and these are the things that it covers here we have phonics writing reading grammar and punctuation spelling literature geography and art um, and so this is the course book these are the booster reading or, I'm sorry reading booster card C and then these are the shared reading books and I'll go through these in just a bit um, and I'll show you what they look like in just a bit. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Um, and here you can see um, it's the first edition that correlates with the Reading Booster program, which is this program here. And that one over there, it, it includes all of that. So here it gives you the items that you are gonna need. It tells you a little bit about the apps that you are gonna need, which are the Letter Tiles app and the Homeschooling app. Um, and it tells you about what is in those apps and then all of these over here. I will link the apps down in the description box um, so you can go check those out. Those are really cool, guys. We've had so much fun with those so far. Here it tells you about the coordinating readers that you can get. These are optional. In fact, we don't even have these yet, um, but I want to get them. I can't wait to get my hands on them, but you can order them from the good and the beautiful and they just go along really well with what reading level your child should be at when they are going through level two and they have one for level K, level one and level two. The next thing it has here is it tells you a little bit more about the Letter Tiles app. These apps are completely free, you guys, and you can go get them online. And there are four level K, level one, level two, and then they have just like ABCs. They have all the letters on there so you can go and play with them. You can use this or you can use, if you do have like physical letter tiles, but these are really great. And this is what it looks like over here. And so we've got these letter tiles, and so this app is for level K, level one, level two, and then you've got um, kind of an ABC where you've got all of the different letter tiles here. So you can either drag them or you can just click on them and then you can um, take the letters out or you can throw them away in the trash. 
um, but also if the letters like say they missed a letter in there they can kind of go in and just squeeze it in there so it's really neat I like this letter tile app it's very user-friendly um, what's great so like say we have this here um, it'll break it up by units and then it'll also break it up by lessons so say I only want I want to do lesson 12 then you will only have the letters in here that you will need for that specific lesson so I love that instead of having all the letters that they would have to go through every single time um, so yeah, it's super simple, super easy, and my kids have really, really enjoyed using this letter tile app. Okay, so the next thing in the course book is this page that says about this course, and it just kind of gives you an overview of the language arts course um, preparation, how to complete this course, principles behind this course, what it covers. And that just kind of continues here. Answer key, reviews and assessment, poetry memorization, just kind of goes through and tells you their um, policies on all of that and then um, how to use it basically. Then you've got a table of contents. And this course book has 120 lessons in it. And then we have at a glance, it says principles, uh, phonics principles taught, taught <laughs> in grammar, usage, punctuation, art, geography, literature, and writing. So it kind of shows you at a glance what they're going to learn in this course. Here they've got painting credits because they have like full page paintings in there so they don't have room for the credits. So here's where they have all of those if you'd like to go through and see who painted what on each page or on the different pages. And then here we have how do, how the Reading Booster C target symbols work. So this is a target symbol and you will see them um, at the beginning of different lessons. And these correlate with these Reading Booster um, cards and um, these reader, Reading Booster like shared readers. And I'll, I'll explain those a little bit more as we go on. Now, um, this kind of explains um, the scope and sequence for the Reading Booster cards. Now this is um, box A, which is level K, and then level 1, and level 2. And that just kind of explains what is taught in those levels. And then here we have the scope and sequence for spelling, um, which you guys, I am actually very happy with how they have changed up the spelling. I think it's a lot better. And here it talks about the pacing of this course and booster cards and lessons do not move at the same pace. So you can actually go faster in these booster cards if you want to, but you will need to master some of these before you move on with the course. And I will explain that just a bit, but this kind of explains it to you too if you want to read it when you have the um, course book in hand. Okay, and then here is the very, very beginning. So this curriculum is an open and go curriculum. You will get all of these things when you order online. Um, now these were just kind of a preparation. I do recommend you read all of these, but if you wanted to read through this and start this with your child the day that you get it, then you can. This is so easy and it is so open and go that you can definitely do that. But here it does say to stop because you need to complete these steps before starting the course. So this is kind of an assessment for you. Um, and what it tells you is that you have that your child needs to be able to read this in under two minutes with six or fewer mistakes. So, and you can see I put the time here that he um, read it. And then here it says to open up to the booster cards to do something first and then it says here for you to go onto the homeschooling app and watch how to use this how to use the level two language arts course um, and so that will actually help you with this whole process so if you want to do that also in addition to watching this video you definitely can um, so it says to look in here first right so these are the booster cards and we have actually really liked these these are fun a fun way to introduce the new concepts um, and to just get more practice with the new concepts of, you know, the new phonics concepts. So here it says, 
master before starting the course. So the child needs to be able to say the short vowel sounds, needs to be able to say the long vowel sounds, and the two sounds of um, Y, which is the I and the E. And they need to be able to read these sight words. And that's it. For levels K and level one, they actually had a lot more in there, but for level two, this is just it, and that's, that's good. So if your child has mastered this, then they are good to go and get started with card one. If they have not mastered all of this, then they suggest that you review this because if you do move on, then they're gonna have a hard time in level two. So they just suggest that you um, go through and um, review these sight words and maybe spend a couple of days just kind of going over them. If they don't know the vowels, then they definitely need to really master those before moving on because then they will start to learn new concepts and then they can't they, w they won't have a very good foundation for starting level two if they have not um, mastered these. I'm just going to show you guys again what these words are, just in case you know, you know if your child can read them or not. And then um, you can move on to card one. So I'm just going to stop right here and keep going in this book, in the course book here. So you can do all of those things, or you need to do all of these things before starting the course book. Here we just have an overview of what unit one is. Here is the spelling for unit one. And then it starts with lesson one. And like I said, so we are already through this. We are on lesson 13. And so some of these are going to be cut out. <laughs> So some, some of these pages are going um, to be only half there. So <laughs> so this is the first lesson and it has some helpful temp, tip right here or hint. Um, and it says, do not start this course um, until you have completed the master before starting this course reading booster cards. Um, and so you just want to make sure that you have that done. And then every lesson will have this work on reading booster cards or books for um, eight to 12 minutes. So we just take about 10 minutes is what I do with him. And we just work on these cards here. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I've got one child here. Like, well, I don't, I didn't get to. I know she didn't get to do it. I know you can't see that, but it's the letter tiles app. Put it down, baby. I love you more. She didn't get to do these. I'm, uh, I'm hoping they have something similar with the new level three, but then we have this one right here too. Do you like your book, baby? Me? Do you like your new language arts? Yeah? Good. My purple one? Your purple one, yeah. Okay, so let me give you an example of what these cards are. So, this card number one, this is Q, Q, U, and you read here, and the blue is to the teacher, and you read the black to the student, which is just how this book works. So, it's easy peasy. You write Q U on the board and read to the child Q U together. Make the sound qu as in quick. Um, ask the child what sound does um, Q U make? Qu, you know. And then we just have them read it. And you want them to master this. And mastering means that they can read it without hesitation. And so you want to be them to be able to do it. Something that I like that they have been doing is they will color code the principle that we're learning, the, the phonics that we're learning, right? So qu. Ick, quilt, quilt. So it's it makes it easier for the child to like really see that and then also to read the word quickly. So once they can read all of this without hesitation, then they have mastered it. Cot, beautiful, laugh, country, period, group, America, triangle, breakfast, against, tulip, area, straight, shore. Good. Um, it's, they have little uh, ways to practice down here. Simply have the child practice the words repeatedly, giving help when needed. They have other ways to practice this too. They are going to come out with reading booster games, which is a fun way for the kids to practice um, on the app, on the homeschooling app. It's scheduled to come out in October of 2022, which we already are in. Um, I believe they're scheduled to um, release about 20 games um, that these kids can play. They already have them out for level one and level K and my, my girl in level one has been loving those games and they're just so simple but they're just another way to practice um, without you know 
doing this or doing you know hands-on stuff it's just another way to practice which makes it great once they have mastered this card then there are stickers in the back here and they can grab a sticker and put it right here on this little circle so the little circle says mastered and he can just put a sticker so that's kind of a neat way to complete this card here so another way that they do it is poetry reading so this is Kua again and he is reading this poetry that a quilt for the queen so that's another way so these are all ways to practice this quilt which is really good um and then read chapter one of the reading booster c book wesley and the wolves so we have been reading these books so there's two of them there's wesley and the wolves and molly and the falcon we have not started this one yet but we have started this one and these are so cool you guys so they are a shared reader, and you see chapter one says is all about the kua, so it'll have those sounds in the words. So the way it works is they read this top portion, and then you read this, and they have that on each page. So this is all chapter one, and this is a really neat story. Like I found myself really enjoying sitting and reading with him. See how it's got all of the sounds in there and then you read that and then you'll go through and again this is all within the 10 minutes that we've kind of allotted to this hello sheep hello beautiful birds hello tulips hello to the entire country entire La entire country laughed wesley as he ran to the river oh okay. it's okay he's gonna hold it for me as i read okay <laughs> So okay. funny. As soon as he was done eating, Wesley went to milk the cow, leaning against Queen as he milked her. Wesley practiced the alphabet with Alice, who sat beside him. Alice suddenly stopped. I smell smoke. Wesley learned against a tree. Leaned. Leaned against a tree. The blue sky above did not hold any cloud to which Wesley was so bored. He felt he was almost too much to bear. And so we didn't finish this in 10 minutes. And then the next day we just came back and continued the story. So this is all chapter one. And then that'll start chapter two. And they all have these little um, bookmarks in them. So that's really nice so I can keep my place. Because like I said, we don't always finish a chapter in one day. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't, depending on how long we took on the cards. Um, and so, yeah, so then once we mastered those, we finished the chapter, then we are completed and we can move on. So you, again, like I said, you can go through these cards as quickly as your student can go through them. If you finish, um, if you have a really good reader, then you will probably finish these and master these pretty quickly. Um, but they are so much fun and they, and we have really, really enjoyed doing them. All right, so let's go back up to the course book. So then once it finishes there, um, then you can move on to the lesson. And so, and then they've got poetry reading and the lessons are broken up so nicely and so well. It does have um, like, well, it's all connected guys. It is all connected, which is, which I'm loving. I am loving that. They're learning the same thing here and here and here and they can use the tiles and the homeschooling app and videos like it's just so well done and so put together each lesson will have an independent practice and sometimes i found that my boy couldn't do his independent stuff independently but these um are done well and, and he can definitely do them on his own as long as i um you know, just kind of explain it first. Um, so this would be lesson two. See, we've already gone through this. Up here, it kind of just tells you items needed, a stick or a spoon, um, colored pencils. Um, and again, every lesson will have this. Work on reading booster cards books for um, eight to 10 minutes, eight to 12 minutes. And so I do 10 minutes. Um, and then it's got dictation in here and they go through spelling words and this is done often you guys and it is so it's so good it's so much better than what they how they did spelling before 
in the older editions and I know that was something that a lot of people kind of struggled with and I honestly did too um, and so but these are they're, they're just they're done so much better I have this in here because this is what was cut out I wanted to show you guys um, and so this was like a, a homophone exercise where he would like drum the drums for the right homophone, you know, four, four, here, here. And so that was really neat. I liked that one a lot. Um, independent practice, some drawing for him. See, these are the full page art works that I was telling you about where they didn't have room for the credits. If you wanted to find this, you can just find it at the beginning to see who painted it and when they painted it. Writing sentences. Um, something else that they have been doing is they've done dictation in the past, but here they actually give you a space for it so you don't have to do it somewhere else. Um, they give you this space for it, and here it, it explains to you because it's the first time you do it, but in many lessons we'll do sentence dictation. This means that I read a short lesson out loud and you will write it on the blank line on the next page in the sentence dictation section. For today's sentence, instead of drawing a dot above the letter I, Draw a heart or another object. We've, we've never done that because I don't know if he would want to do that. <laughs> we just drew a dot. But then it explains to you in this first lesson what to do. And I do in appreciate this. This is a sentence. And then it's talking to you. And it says, whenever you do sentence dictation, help the child sound out words if needed and gently correct spelling errors. Um, so this is a fairly simple sentence. Um, so you're really working on like correcting the errors. Um, also make sure that the first letters of the sentence is capitalized, that the sentence ends with an ending punctuation, and that there are no random uppercase letters. I did appreciate this because my kids do do this. Uh, they have random uppercase letters in sentences all the time. Um, work on correct handwriting, you know, proper spacing, and if the child has too much to fix and is overwhelmed, not everything needs to be corrected. That's a great reminder. I love that direction that they give you um, because I was able, I felt like, okay, I can really, we're not concentrating on spelling. Well, we are, but we're really concentrating on um, how he's writing, how he's spelling, that he's using correct grammar, you know, all of that. I love that the words are just easy words that he can easily sound out. So that way he's not too overwhelmed with that and he can work on you know correctly writing this down because my boy does need to work on his handwriting and so this is some of his good handwriting that he's done and I'm, I'm proud of him he's working really hard on it um, and then over here we have a spelling word chart and we went through and figured out what he could spell what he couldn't spell I think he's having trouble with search in young um, and and we're still on these spelling words and so I just have him write it extra times um, if he has trouble with it. Here's some more independent practice. Okay, and now here, this is where you'll see this target. Um, and you'll see it throughout the course book in different lessons, but this is a target here that they were talking about that correlates with the booster cards. So when you see this, you're supposed to stop, and you do not start this lesson until the child has mastered this card, so number two. So the child has mastered this one, and this one and for my boy he's ahead of it but for um, my girl who is in first grade you know she's still learning how to read and so these are a little bit um, harder for her she still has fun with them I think they're at a good level but she does take longer on them which is completely fine and it is perfect for where she's at um, and so I appreciate these because then we don't go ahead with the book until we have mastered these. So I'll take even a couple of days um, to finish these. Um, and then when we do move on, then I know she's got a good foundation for it. So it's really good and it helps her um, not be overwhelmed when she's like learning too many concepts and she doesn't completely understand any of them. <laughs> so it really does solidify concepts for her. And so anyway, like I said, with my boy, he kind of um, not flies through these, but he does kind of just go through these pretty easily. Um, and so then, you know, you wouldn't continue until they have mastered this um, card number. Once they master it, then you can go through 
And sometimes, and like I said, with my boy, we've never had to stop. Um, but with my other child, um, we have, and it's completely okay. There's been times when we've just used a couple of days and we just master it. We go through, we play some games, you know, in the, in the app. Um, we read some of the, um, books. I do have a video on level K and level one going through and kind of showing you how this works. And they don't have these shared readers. They have, um, kind of like mini books. And we do really like those mini books. Those have been really great and easy for her to read. They're not as challenging as the other mini book books were in the other edition. They're more like the beginning books um, that The Good and the Beautiful had before, um, but they are more challenging. It's like an in-between of those books. But anyway, so it is fun to do those. It's not like, oh no, we've got to do these booster cards again. No, it's always a fun thing to do. And then here we've got the Letter Tiles app. So he'll go through and spell these. Um, and then we've got independent practice and here we've kind of got sequence where he like it's reading and logic where he has to put the story together what's first second third and fourth again that was cutting there's a lot of more cutting in, in these um, editions and I'm enjoying it and here's a lesson on geography God's plan for the world um, here's another one of the um, sentence dictations um, and it goes through and it kind of does the continents. My boy knows the continents because we do classical conversations. Um, and then independent practice. And then look at this. It has a whole bunch of ways. This is spelling practice here. So, um, young and Ben, and then he spells it out here. He fills out the blanks here. He finds it on the word search here. Here's another spelling practice. So I, it just, it, it's so much better. You guys. It really is. I really, oh, I am really enjoying these. Oh, these are art books. So there is a, so if we go to, sorry, baby. <laughs> so my girl has been over here practicing, or not practicing, but just kind of working on these. <laughs> so if we go to the, um, whew, the app here, we go to language arts and level two. And then we go to books. Here we go. So we've got the art of, oh gosh, I don't know. I can't, I can't pronounce the name. And so he will go and he'll just listen and read. Not read, but listen to these. Camille Passaro was born in 1830 on the island of St. Thomas in the Danish West Indies. This island is now part of the U.S. Virgin Islands and is close to Puerto Rico. When Camille was only 12 years old, his parents sent him to a boarding school in France. Here, he was introduced to the art that would change his life. This is one of Camille's most famous paintings. During this time, Camille lived and painted in London. It was here that he painted this beautiful picture of the Charing Cross Bridge. So yeah, so then he would go and he would listen to this on his own and then um, answer these questions. And he did it, and I actually had to run. I couldn't let, watch this with him when we actually did it. But I did go through the questions with him, and, and he knew them. So that was really neat. I really like these, and they have these in all the different levels, level K, level 1, and level um, 2. And ugh, I, just, I just love them. I just really do love them, guys. It's so good. All of the things that they have added have been just amazing, and it adds just more variety to everything and uh, I don't even know guys this is it's just so much fun so that's basically how a lesson would work um, and all of the different components of a lesson so now yep this is getting to where we haven't gotten to yet so I'm just kind of flipping through so you can see all of the color look at geography and geography um, I'm really appreciating the geography. We do geography with classical conversations and I thought maybe, you know, I'd skip over the geography part sometimes, but the geography is actually more than just knowing where things are on a map. It goes through and it talks about different things about that country and it just really is a fun lesson. Wow, look at that. <laughs> um, every lesson has just been so good. A watercolor project. Oh, cool oh my goodness um and even like with my so my level k 
um my no not sorry not level k my girl who is in level one we have gone i think we're already in like the 20 something 20 less than 22 or something like that and she actually had a lot of painting in her course book um so that art component is definitely m there more than it was in the older editions um so it just kind of goes through all of this i'm just kind of flipping through i'm not showing you every page um, but I actually haven't really flipped through this um, either because we just moved and so, well, we moved over the summer. And so basically guys, when I, I took this out of the box and I started with him, I started doing the lesson with him because um, I just didn't have time to look at it beforehand. Syllables, they're doing syllables here. We're working on that right now too. Um, like open syllables, closed syllables, and oh, it's just so good. Look at these words. Oh gosh, he's definitely, he can do these compound words. He can do this. <laughs> I remember there was a time when I didn't know if, if reading <laughs> was going to come, was going to click or not with him. And, um, it has, it has, you guys, we just kept going. We did kind of, um, kind of step back a little bit as far as we did two years of kindergarten, um, and, and that's okay. So if you're in that situation, mamas, you know, and you're like, oh, I don't know if my, if it's ever going to click. Um, it is, it's going to click. You might need to give him time, give him or her time, but it will, it really will. Um, wow, that was a lot of words on that page. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> Here's another art book, letter tiles, and they do this, um, a good amount. So it's, ugh, it's enough that it's not like, oh my goodness, this is every day, but it is um, so much fun when you see it and you're like, oh yay, we get to work with letter tiles or we get to do, I don't know, uh, an art book or a geography book because they have those in there also. So yeah, so I want to go to the back here. So they don't really have like those assessments like they had before. They do have a reading assessment, um, but it's back here in the back. And then they have a spelling assessment also in the back. And then they have a little, yay, congratulations. <laughs> you successfully completed this course. So yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. This is all that they have and it's so much fun. We have really enjoyed it so far. I feel like my little ones are getting more of a solid grasp on reading and geography and writing and grammar and all of these things. They have done such a wonderful job um, at the good and the beautiful um, on these new levels. All right, guys, well, that was it. That was a flip through, a deep dive inside the language arts, the new language arts level two from the good and the beautiful. I hope this was helpful for you um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them if I can. And like always, I will leave all of this down in the description box below so that way you can go get one for yourself if you would like. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up and let's be friends follow me over on instagram at dina underscore pursuing peace all right you guys well i hope you're having a blessed day and i will see you next time in another video bye